At the Africa Utopia Festival, the public joined us for a star consultation in our pop-up salon. Instead of hair and money, we traded time for tales. Our customers took a seat in our hairdressing chairs, shared salon stories, and became part of the inspiration behind our brand new play, Auntie Auntie, Let Me Do Your Hair. Theatre Founds it produces theatre that reflects the changing Africa diaspora in contemporary Britain. I promise you this, not one, not two, but ten marriage proposals. As they are walking down this super life, life, all those men who are forgetting your name, well, they will remember it first time. We've had black women in, we've also had um, white women in, um, children in, and also um, men in, black men in. One person said it's with, it's within me, um, Africanness, and then one lady was mixed race, um, and she identifies more with her African side. Um, so that was that's that was quite pertinent um, to her, and what it means. And then I had a little <laughs> young um, white boy, and that just said Africanness is people from Africa. So it's it's just it's just interesting to uh, get different people's different perceptions on them. What it means, what does that word mean? Yeah, well, I've certainly noticed that there is a, like you say, there are sort of limited uh, narratives about black people in this country um, in terms of popular culture, representation in popular culture. I think I always knew that hair is a topic that bonds people, but just how much and how, like, how much we all have to say about it, and people who sort of haven't even really engaged but who have sat and observed and, and been in conversation in the waiting room. Um, people who knew nothing about it and you say, oh we want to have a conversation about hair and they're like, let's do it. And um, that's really great. I've gone natural, which is great, but trying to work against having to have the pressure of having long hair and I'm comparing myself to other women that do have like silky straight hair. Because I feel as women we always have to like put ourselves against other women and compete with other women and it's not necessary and I definitely think like the media just tends to do that, just puts that pressure on us and it doesn't even have to exist. It wasn't until sort of a few years ago that I realised that my um, identity, so much of my identity was wrapped up in my hair and what my hair looked like and um, it's really exciting to see this now um, taking space in the arts, this conversation, um, because it makes you realise how many people are actually thinking the same thing or um, you know, hearing other people's stories and bits of their journey and um, I just think it's really exciting that we're going to have something in the art space which is representing um, the, U um, the UK perspective of um, black women. When the space became cluttered and I looked over and saw how comfortable people were and how authentic an atmosphere there was, uh, how easy those conversations were flowing and how after what was a fairly simple thing to pull together, something that was quite clearly quite rare and quite in, and was very enjoyed was happening. I think the reason I, I thought there was a story in this is, is just about how many people it brings together and about a space in which the multiple can exist, a space where there is room for all sorts of different black women and African women and, and that those people can all exist beside each other and that we didn't have to choose a particular narrative or a particular story, a particular version of Africanness. So I think it's all about the multiple, it's all about embracing the multiple.